Hello and welcome to another purveyor of light affinity photo quick tip this week. Don't get to do too many of these affinity photos, but I plan on increasing that because a lot of people uh, are really getting interested in affinity. And uh, quite frankly, it doesn't get the love it deserves because it's actually a very fine product. Alrighty, today we're going to cover the old favorite of sensor dust. Uh, with all the mirrorless cameras and everything and all our sensors not being protected, every time we change a lens, we're picking up sensor dust. And uh, it's becoming more and more common, bigger problem than it ever has been. So what am I talking about? All right, here's a photo. And you can look and you see this dark area here. You go, oh, that's, that's sensor dust. And there's another one. And so I'm going to show you two things here. One, how to remove them, which is incredibly easy, okay? But more importantly, to how to see the ones that you don't see necessarily that easy, okay? So let's jump right in here. The first one we're going to work with is we're going to duplicate the background layer. Command or Control J. Okay? And that duplicates it. So we have a duplicate copy, so we work non-destructive. All right, so the next thing is I want to take the image and I want to modify it. So I'm going up to the adjustment panel and I'm going to select a curve adjustment, okay? And so that's going to put it up there and we get our little box. And now we're going to do what I call a sine wave. We're going to click on the first intersection. We're going to click on the last intersection. And we're going to bring up, way up. And then we're going to bring it way down. And you can see, by doing this, we have solarized the image, and now you can p picture any defects in the sky much easier, okay? And so now you can see that we definitely have one a sensor dust here and a sensor dust here. So now all we need to do is select the duplicate layer that we made. Then we're going to go to our tool panel here, and we're going to select Blemish Removal Tool. And we're going to do that, and you can lose your left and right square bracket keys to increase the size of the brush as needed or decrease it as you need it. So make it large enough to encompass the blemish and go ahead and click once. And there that sensor dust has been taken care of. Now this one here, a little harder to see, but thanks to our curve level, we see it. Click and it's gone. And there we have it. That's how easy it is to do this. And you can just simply turn your curve layer off and you can see we have a corrected image. And if we turn off the, the correction, we can see what it was before and what it is after. And that's how easy it is to address uh, sensor dust on it. So let's do one more, okay? We have a nice picture here and you can see right up top, you got a, another sensor dust. But are there other ones? I don't know. It, it, the way the sky is, there could be. But let's let's go ahead and make a check on it. Let's go ahead and do a uh, curves adjustment. And we're going to go curves. And what are we going to do? We're going to put a couple dots on it. And then we're going to do a sine wave. And bring it up. Solarize it. And do we see any other ones there? No, we just have the one here. And so now we can just turn around and do a thing and come in and then do a sensor repair. Adjust the brush with the square brackets. And click. And boom, we have turned around and done this image here. And that's how easy it is. All right, one more. All right, so here we have another Arctic. Now, let's see if we do got any sensor dust. Well, I'm not seeing any right here. Well, let's go ahead and do our curves adjustment. Deed, deed, deed. Curves. 
and let's put our two dots in here and we're gonna bring it down oh look what's happening into the sky already i'm seeing sensor dust and i couldn't see those before okay now we can we can bring it really up to to do the uh, adjustments okay but we've got enough now that where we could really see that there is a lot of sensor dust all over this this image and we couldn't see them without this adjustment layer so if i go back you still can't see them but you sure can see them now with the helper file all right so now all we got to do is just go in and do our normal uh blemish removal and just click and click away to remove all the sensor dust that's in there and then of course after doing this we have to turn around and uh, either ourselves or have our camera cleaned by a professional because our sensor really needs to be cleaned up and there we go and now we've done our sensor cleanup and it's that easy to do it so there you go sensor dust kind of a pain but easy to handle and again you'll be seeing more videos from me on affinity photo because like i said it doesn't get the love it deserves so i plan on changing that myself all right all right guys till next week you guys take care